Hi, I'm Rebecca Raverson and I'm from the Yorkshire Dales. I have a team of working gun dogs. I've worked in field sports for about 16 years now on grouse, pheasants, partridge and ducks. The current situation with dog fest is there's a huge increase in the last year due to the pandemic and um, the price of pups has gone up. Now then I think the market for pups was due to go up anyway but obviously not such a huge increase so quickly. So this has driven dog thieves to start um, stealing people's dogs to obviously breed off, sell on. So um, I think the websites are quite um, a problem here because they're not being managed so there's a lot of illegal breeding on there. I'd say like, you know, your Spaniels because they're a popular pet as well as a worker. Your Labradors and I think like your Western, Westie Terriers and anything really, um, they seem to, seem to be getting, getting their hands on a lot of dogs at the minute. Social media obviously has been a very positive platform over the years, but it's also um, a positive platform for thieves because they can find so much stuff off there these days. So, you know, get all your locations off, be very careful who you talk to, if you've got a litter of pups, try and speak. Um, especially for someone like me who's got a reputation and we already know quite a lot of dog people, we can probably sell litters amongst each other. I understand a lot of people maybe don't have that and if you are having to advertise, make sure you're very, very careful where you advertise, vet everybody you speak to and just, yeah, just, just be very, very careful. Security lights, cameras, if you can get hold of a protection dog, um, get one of those in. Anything you can deter them, alarms, kennel alarms, um, like I say, security lights, security beam lights, so if anyone crosses that beam, like it'll set an alarm, it'll come to your phone. Anything you can think of to deter them, um, get it put in. All these security measures might sound like they're going to cost a lot, but it won't cost a lot when you put into the price of what your dog means to you. There's no, there's no price on a dog, um, so you know if it costs you 500 quid for some new um, security, in the long run it's going to be more be beneficial. Another good idea is a WhatsApp group in your local area, wherever you may be based, and um, set it up uh, as a dog watch. Anything that's in the area, you can post, um, obviously vans with number plates, anything like that. It might not be a dog uh, theft or a thieves, but if you can get that information across and everyone's aware of it, people are just a little bit more, you know, aware to keep their dogs inside or check the cameras that night. Um, anything you can do to support each other is definitely gonna deter them. Social media is again a real positive platform because there's so many people out there that want to help and share the post but I have recently been in touch with a lady who is struggling to get her dog back because she gave the name of her dog when it was stolen so the thieves have now bonded with this dog and they're now trying to prove that the dog's theirs because the chip's been cut out so I'd be very very careful of what information you give when you're doing a post about a dog that's been stolen from you obviously pictures a rough age, not an exact age, and um, no name of the dog because this gives the thieves chance to bond with your dog because it knows its name. So uh, when it comes down to dog th thieving, just be so careful, like they are our best friends and the last thing we want to do is wake up to our dogs gone in the kennel or from a home or see that, you know, that they're not there and we don't want that. So just be so careful, think about what you're doing, think about who you're talking to, Always, I say to people who ask me, they're like, I'm so scared at the minute, I think that my dog's gonna get stolen all the time. Unfortunately, that at the minute, that is the best way to think. Always think that your dog's gonna get stolen. Always have um, your wits about you and just think about where they were coming from, how they would attack you. And it's awful to think like that, but it makes you be a lot more careful and wary of what could happen. Part of the problem of dog theft is communication. So I've recently teamed up with the NGO who have started a campaign to, um, so all the leads that um, across the country for dog thefts are going to be coming to one unit so they can start um, figuring out where these guys are working an area next. So quite often there's like dog thefts in every county but they're not actually realising that they're all linked so if we can actually feed all this information to one place 
um, it'll be good because we can try and be a few steps ahead of these guys instead of behind them. So what the NGO have done, which is an amazing thing, is contacted every uh, chief col um, police constable uh, in the UK. These dog vests are all interlinked with each other and they're spread across the UK. So what we would like is a, um, a department in the police where someone solely concentrates on the dog vests so we can be a few steps ahead of them than behind because we need to work together to stop them and if we don't um, we're going to have a serious problem on our hands so we need to be a few steps ahead of these guys and make sure we're stopping them. Joining the National Gamekeepers organisation is a choice for all shooters and gamekeepers. Help promote, protect gamekeeping, conservation and shooting as we know it today. Get on the front foot. Support an organisation that will defend what you love and we do. NGO membership comes with £10 million of third party liability, a dedicated firearms licensing team, legal support, as well as many, many other members' benefits. Be part of Britain's biggest conservation movement.